Scripture and a prayer. Pastor Arlen, thanks for joining me. I have a scripture for you today. It's in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. It says, For all the promises of God in Him are yes, and in Him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Love you thought about the fact that God has already said yes to his promises in your life and you don't have to beg God to be good to you you don't have to beg God in any way all you have to do is ask him he says ask and it shall be given to you see you don't have to plead with him to help you God wants to help you and he wants to pour out his abundant blessings in your life he's already provided and given them to you you just have to receive them the scripture says his promises are yes and amen. <laughs> There's not a no in there. And as long as you believe his promises, his scripture, and you trust in it, and you walk in it, you'll receive it. The scripture says that his promises are yes and amen. Amen means so be it. And in other words, it's a done deal. All you have to do is make sure you are living up to your end of the bargain. Now, if you're not living up to your end of the bargain, how can you expect to receive his promises? But they're there for you. And see, God's love is unconditional, but we have to obey his commands in order to see his promises come to pass in our life. And, I, and you know, for me, it was Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, because it says that we have to bring our tithe to him in order to see the windows of heaven open. You want to see the windows of heaven open? Well, bring your, your tithes to, to him. And he says, prove me. <laughs> to just see that I won't open up the windows of heaven for you. And in Deuteronomy chapter 5, it says that we are to honor our parents in order to live a long life. So you want to live a long life? Honor your parents. Now, honor your parents in the Lord. I, I mean, if they're telling you to do crazy things, don't go do crazy things. But there's a reason why we're to honor them, give them respect. But, uh, um, you know, they're to raise up their children to, uh, to the Lord and uh, as unto the Lord. And we're to, you know, their, his children are, are to obey their parents. But, you know, he's not saying, hey, go out there. If your parents say to go jump off a cliff, don't go jump off a cliff. You know, I mean, that's crazy. God's never going to tell you to do that. Um, the good news is that when we surrender our hearts to him, he empowers us to fulfill every one of his commands. He equips us for every good work because he wants to see us live a really good, blessed life. He wants you to be happy. He wants to be joyful. And that's why his promises are yes and amen. Um, I would like to say a prayer over you today. Father, Thank you for your goodness and faithfulness in our life. And Father, today we believe that you have good plans to pour out your blessings in our, in our life and giving us great favor, the favor of God. Father, thank you. And we, we ask for strength to obey your commands and honor you in all that we do all the days of our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Well. God bless you. My scripture, 2 Corinthians 1.20, for all the promises of God are in him are yes and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Thank you for joining me. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.